okay guys now you have two situations one falling down normally and another one falling down in vacuum now falling down normally over here means guys it's falling down in your surrounding air lah. so you have over here one coin and you have over here feather one coin and one feather okay now when you take the coin and you take the feather and you drop it over here in your normal conditions meaning surrounding lah, you will see that your coin will fall first okay your feather will take over here a longer time to fall now the question why does the feather take a longer time over here to fall now feather will have what we call air resistance acting on it okay now this air resistance is due to the over here surface area now it means guys eh, if the feather has over here a larger surface area and because of that larger surface area you will have more resistance or more air resistance on your feather feather takes a longer time over here to fall down okay now this is a normal condition now to test gravitational force okay you have to over here conduct your experiment in vacuum now when you are conducting your experiment in vacuum what you will discover is when you take your coin and you take your feather and you let it go at the same time now guys vacuum over here means no air now just in case huh, if you're wondering over here what the hell is vacuum vacuum over here means you don't have any air like in space like guys no air now so in vacuum over here when you take your coin and you take your feather and you drop it at the same time both coin and feather will actually fall down equally at the same time now the reason why it's because there is no air resistance now because there is no air resistance both will fall equally okay now for the next part what i'm going to teach you uh, for the next video over here i'm going to teach you it's a very common question in exam you know guys it's about your pulley and also about your lift okay your lift and your pulley i'll explain this too in the next video guys huh?